Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we had learnt what a stock is. In this video, we'll answer the question, what is a stock market? And then we'll go on and answer the question, what is a stock exchange? Okay. Now, what is a market? Not a stock market, but a market. What is a market? A market is a place where you have many shops that are selling different items. Correct? Now, if you want to buy vegetables, what do you do? You go to a vegetable market. Correct? Now, what is this vegetable market? Vegetable market is a place. It is a place. It is a location. It is a place where you have many shops that sell vegetables. Correct? Now, let us assume this is a vegetable market. This is a place where we have many shops that are selling vegetables. So, this shop sells vegetable this shop sells vegetables, this shop sells vegetables and so on. All the shops sell vegetables. Okay. Similarly, a stock market is a place where we have many shops selling stocks. Okay. Stock market is also a place which has many shops. And those shops sell shares or stocks of different companies. Okay. Now, this is a shop. This is a shop. This is a shop. Correct. If you want to buy, let us say, potatoes, you can go to this shop or you can go to this shop or you can go to this shop. You will get potatoes in all the shops or I can say you can buy any vegetables from any of the shops. Correct? Similarly, you can buy stocks from any of the shops in the stock market. Alright? Now, what are these shops of stock market called as shops of stock market are called as stock exchanges okay shops of stock market are called as stock exchanges we have few stock exchanges in india out of those few these are the famous ones. BSE, which stands for Bombay Stock Exchange. NSE, which stands for National Stock Exchange. Now, these two are nothing but shops where we can buy stocks of various companies from. Okay. Now, we can buy a stock from BSE or this shop. We can buy a stock from NSE2 or this shop. There is no difference. Okay. We can buy from BSE or we can buy from NSE. Just like you can buy potatoes from this shop or this shop. Of course, there may be a very, very, very small price difference between shops. Similarly, a very, very, very small price difference exists between these two too. But it doesn't matter. Okay. If you want to buy a stock of a company, you can buy from here or from here. Alright. Now, how many varieties of vegetables are available in this shop? Is it 5? Is it 10? Is it 15 or more? We have tomatoes, we have potatoes, we have beans, we have broccoli, we have cauliflower, we have carrots, we have many types of vegetables, correct? 
So this vegetable, sorry, this shop also has different varieties of vegetables and this too, correct? So just like a shop has different varieties of vegetables, BSC, the Bombay Stock Exchange or this shop has stocks of more than 5000 companies. Okay. So in BSC, you can buy stocks of more than 5000 companies. Of course, we do not buy all of them, but I'm saying you have an option to buy from 5000. NSC shop, National Stock Exchange shop has stocks of more than 1600 companies. All right. So this number keeps on changing and so I'm saying more than. Okay. So just like we have varieties of vegetables in a vegetable shop, we have many companies stocks in BSC and NSC. All right. So these two are the shops from which we will be buying stocks from. Similarly, like what we have in India, we have different shops in various countries. For example, New York Stock Exchange is a stock exchange of USA. This is a shop of America. NASDAQ is a shop of America. Shanghai Stock Exchange is a exchange or a shop of China. Tokyo Stock Exchange is a shop of Japan. We have Toronto Stock Exchange, we have Hong Kong Stock Exchange, we have many. Right? All these are nothing but shops from where we can buy stocks of that particular country. Okay? So this is about stock market and stock exchange. Stock market is a place where we have stock exchanges. Okay? Stock market also has shops which sell other than other things than stocks. Okay? We have many other things which we can buy too, other than stocks, but we'll not go there. We'll uh, currently focus on stocks, but remember that stock market is a place, stock exchange is a shop. Okay. Now, coming to the market itself, we have two types of market. Okay. Let me give you an example. To make you understand the concept. First is fixed price market. So let us say this is you. You want to buy an apple. Okay, You want to buy one single apple. You go to a shop. This is the shopkeeper who has fixed the price of the apple. And let us say the price of the apple is 1 rupees. 1 rupees per apple. If you are from different country watching this video, so you can have the currency of your own country. Okay. But let us say this person, this seller is selling at a rate of one rupee per apple. Okay. You have no say in the price. Whatever he says, you have to give and you have to buy the apple if you want. Okay. You cannot bargain here. This price is fixed by this person. This is fixed price market. The second type of market is an auction market. Okay. It is a market where we have sellers and buyers. Okay. So let us say these two are apple sellers. They are selling apples. And these two are apple buyers. They have come to the market to buy apples. This person is willing to sell the apple that he owns 
at 0.75 rupees per apple okay so he is willing to sell one apple at this price whereas this seller is willing to sell one apple at this price 0 0.70 rupees okay now these are the apple buyers this buyer is ready to buy an apple if its price is 0 0.60 rupees per apple okay which means he doesn't want to give more than 60 paise or 0 0.60 rupees per apple now this person is willing to pay 0 0.70 rupees per apple and not more than that okay so these four people there are many uh, others than these four okay there will be many apple sellers many apple buyers but i'm taking the example of only four so these four come together and they quote their prices now you can see this person is willing to sell at 0 0.70 this person is willing to buy at 0 0.70 so this person sells apples to this person and this person buys the apple okay now this and this are done there is no one to buy from this person because he has quoted more than uh, he has quoted more price and this person is not getting any sellers because he is quoting very less amount so what this person has to do what this person has to do this person has to wait till a buyer who is willing to pay 0.75 rupees comes and buys from him what does what, what should this person do he has to wait till a seller who is willing to sell at 0 0.60 rupees comes and sells the apples okay so they have to wait of course they will come but it takes time so this is how auction market works there will be sellers and there will be buyers quoting different prices all right and this is exactly how stock market works there is no fixed price sellers quote their price buyers quote their price and if there is a match then there is a transaction okay so we will learn about this in detail in future video okay i hope you have understood the concept of stock market stock exchange and the auction market now let us connect all these with the stock market and stock exchange so what is a stock exchange stock exchange is a building okay it is just a building with high-tech facilities this is the building of nse national stock exchange this is a shop what is a shop shop is just a building correct so nse national stock exchange is just a building with high-tech facilities why do you need high-tech facilities because every day hundreds or thousands of transactions will be happening and all these need to be taken care of or tracked to do this we need high-tech facilities and that is why the stock exchange is just a building with high-tech facilities we have buyers and sellers coming in and buying shares and selling shares buyers send their order to a broker broker buys it from the stock exchange for them what is a broker we'll see in a different video sellers send their order to the broker broker goes to the nse and does the transaction for them when i say goes to the transaction it is not physical going the broker does not walk to the stock exchange and do the transaction now everything is computerized so no one has to move an inch to do the transaction okay so buyers 
sellers. Now these buyers can also be sellers. These sellers can also be buyers. These buyers can sell the shares that they have or buy the shares that they do not have. Similarly, the sellers can sell the shares that they have or buy the shares that they do not have. So there is no clear distinction between buyers and sellers. Both can be buyers and sellers. Okay. Now, stock exchange is a building with high tech facility. What is a stock market? Stock market is just a collection of stock exchange. But there is no physical place for stock market. Just like you have a physical market for vegetable, you have vegetable market. It is a location in your city, correct? Where you can go. Here, for stock market, we do not have a particular physical place. You can buy or sell shares from anywhere in the world. You can be in your hometown, sit in front of a computer and do the transaction through a broker. You can be in a different town and you can do the transaction by yourself shares. So there is no fixed location for the stock market. Okay. All right. So that was about stock market and stock exchange. I hope you have understood the concept. In the next video, we'll learn about a different topic. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.